guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we are gonna go over how you guys go about creating a camera view. Now, a lot of times you guys may create a camera view in Revit if you guys are looking to render um, within Revit. Um, that's gonna be one way for you guys to do your views. But a lot of times I see also um, individuals um, may create camera views just to be able to export what the 3d volume of a space looks like so even if you're not rendering um, this may be helpful for you guys as well if you're just looking to see what your 3d space looks like or if you guys are just kind of looking for the line work of what that looks like as well so to get started what you guys want to do is you first want to be um, in your floor plan where you guys want to create the camera view in so right now you guys will see I kind of just have a, a open space for purpose purpose of example a living room kind of a, a kitchenette um, situation back here and we're just going to create a camera view um, looking from here down okay so to get started um, you guys want to go to your view tab Once you guys are in your view tab, you want to find your 3D view tool and you guys want to click on the flyout. Once you guys click on the flyout, you guys want to select the second option, which will be your camera view. Once I select my camera view, you guys are going to notice that a little camera appears on my cursor. That camera will not be set down until I click the first time to anchor where I want that camera to be. So uh, the way that I kind of like to think about it is your first click is going to be where you're actually standing in the room right and then your second click which you guys will see here in a second is going to be um, what direction you guys want to look um, in your 3D view. So the first click again is going to set me down. So let's just say for instance, I want to stand here within the room. I'm going to click once to set that down. Now you guys are going to notice that that camera is stuck where it is. That's not going to move again, but now you guys are going to have kind of this view scope that appears on your cursor. And that is where you guys want to set that second click down so a good rule of thumb is you guys kind of want to go a little bit past the um elements that you guys are trying to view so i'm just going to go a little bit past the corner um, of this room here and i'm going to click that second time to set that camera view down now once i set that camera view down um the sec that second click it will automatically bring up to me what that view looks like so as you guys saw i made my second click it brought me to my 3d view now a few things i want you guys to notice here the first thing is you guys um it will automatically have that view selected. With that automatic selection, you guys are going to notice these blue dots around the edges. If you guys click and hold on those, you're able to move that view focus in or out. So as you guys can see, um, if I wanted to cut off something or something didn't come into my view, I'm able to make those adjustments by clicking and holding on those blue dots. Okay. Another thing that I want you guys to notice about your 3d view is it will automatically, um, create that view here on your tab, but to find that view, if you guys click out of it. So let's just say for instance, I, close that view down right so i'm back at my floor plan view if i go over to my project browser and go down to 3d views that view will now be underneath that 3d view tab so if it's not maximized you guys are able to click on that plus sign and then if you double click on that view it will bring it back up for you guys Another kind of rule of thumb that I kind of like to um, kind of get in the practice of, if you guys only have your floor plan open and your 3D view, you guys are able to go to your view tab, go over to windows and go to tile view, click once and that will bring up both of those views together. So sometimes it's a little bit easier 
to see what's happening with those views. Another thing is once your camera view is created, to get that camera to show back up on your floor plan, you want to find it under your project viewer browser excuse me so once i see my 3d view here i'm just going to right click go up to show camera and i'm able to see that camera view here again so if i do need to make adjustments i'm able to make those adjustments on the floor plan and see how that shows up here in the plan here um, two options that you guys are going to have in your camera view is um, your view itself. So if you guys click on that um, hollow circle and move it in and out, that will control what's able to be viewed. So as long as you guys have it kind of panned out far enough, you guys are able to um, see everything within that view. So that is a good way kind of for you guys to kind of have the check and balances. If you guys are able to have both of those views open, you guys can kind of see it happening in real time. So again, if I was to move that view kind of closer to where I'm at, it's only going to capture what's within that triangle here. So as you guys can see, if I'm looking at my 3D view, I'm only able to see a corner of that couch and see that nightstand here, right? So, or, or that end table here. So again, as long as you guys are able to get it past um, that view, it will bring up everything within the view. It really doesn't matter how far you guys drag it out past. Um, the elements that you guys want to see because it won't change it as much but it is really important um, as you guys kind of bring it closer to the camera because you do want to make sure that it's capturing everything for you guys um, the second thing that you guys will have underneath your camera option is this red circle here if you guys click and hold that that will adjust how your view uh, or what what direction your view is looking in. So if I was to, let's just say, pan that to the left, you guys will notice that my 3D view also changes as well, right? So if I was to pull that over, it will change it here. If I was to pan it back, it will change it again in real time of what's actually happening. So again, um, depending on what you guys are kind trying to view within your um camera view there you guys will make the adjustments here so once you guys escape out of that camera view again it disappears on your floor plan to bring it back you will go to your project browser find the name of that view itself right click show camera and it brings it back up for you guys so that is pretty much um, the gist of how you guys go about getting your camera view um, into Revit, getting your camera view um, created, um, how to make sure that it's focusing on the correct things that you guys are looking at. And I also want to show you guys one more thing with that. So I'm actually just going to go back to my tab view to get back to just a single view here. And um, as I'm looking at my 3D view itself, so again, I'm just on my single tab here. Um, if I wanted to see this view, and let's just say I had all of my materials added um, within this view, I can change that. So if I come down to my bottom menu here and I come to my visual style and hidden line isn't how I want it to view um, this 3D view, let's just say I wanted to check to make sure certain materials were being added, I can click on here. Um, I can change it to consistent colors, shaded, textures, that will show um, what that color looks like. But I can also take it to realistic, which will show me what the appearance of those materials look like as I saw them in my material browser. Um, so we'll give Revit a little bit of time to think. Um, I don't have all of my materials um, in this view, but I do have, I think, a wall material that you guys will be able to see here in a second. So as you guys can see, once Revit finishes thinking um, through the process, it may take a while, so just kind of be patient um, with it. But once you're able to um, 
get Revit to change it to um, realistic, you guys are able to kind of see a little bit of what those materials are going to look like. Of course, they'll look a lot more realistic once you actually go to render um, this view, but um, this will give you guys a good idea that your materials are actually being placed correctly. They're being placed on the correct elements in the right place. So that's really um awesome to be able to see it in that view and then the last thing is if you guys want to rename this view you guys can right click on it go to rename and you guys are able to type in what you guys want that to be and then just click out of that so that is how you guys go about um, creating a camera view please like and subscribe if you guys found it helpful and thank you guys for joining